Uh, welcome to the Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019 meeting of the Community Preservation Committee. As always, we start off with general public comments, of which there's no general public. We will move on to the approval of the minutes. Sarah sent us today the minutes for the February 6th, 2019 meeting. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. A second? Any discussion on those? All in favor? Opposed? All right. And I will have the rest of them for you next time. I lost them in an update. Ooh. Ooh. Here. Uh, chair's report. I actually have a few things that I would like to say. One is welcome back. It's exciting to be back here. It's always a pleasure to drive through town or walk through town and look at all the good work that we are doing. I mean, it really is. Once again, it's an honor for me and I think for all of us to be on this um, on this committee. And everyone, whenever I talk to anyone, they say, ah, oh, Community Preservation, that's the best committee in town. <laughs> we get to do <laughs> sure, really good God, stuff. Sure, you get that all. Yeah, we really do. We get to do <laughs> such wonderful things. <laughs> and it's wonderful to be part of that process. So we should pat each other and ourselves on the back and look forward to another interesting fall with some really interesting proposals out there. Um, there is a bunch of good news, which I'll share, and then one bad news. The good news is, I think most of us know, the Act to Sustain Community Preservation passed, which means we're going to have a bunch more money. What that bunch is, is a little unclear. Um, but Sarah informed us that uh, we have 23.8, state match 23.8% of what we raised last year. And it's going to go up this year to Sarah. Thanks. Well, I'm so really not quite sure at this point because then the new registry of deeds fees won't take effect right away. And then we will see the, um, we'll see a portion of that result in next year's match, <coughs> the full amount in the following year. But there was a provision in the act to uh, provide state budget surplus to the CPA. For so, this round? For this we will see this round. Yes, but we don't know how much that is. So we don't know how much that is, and we'll see some of the new uh, stuff next in the next round, and then there, it'll really kick in for the next fiscal right. year. And remember, the state fiscal year is July 1st to June 3rd. So that's really good news. So that's exciting. We'll see, we'll see more money coming. The other, uh, another exciting event is that the land grant came in for the Pine Grove Golf Course of $400,000. Did that just come in today? Um, the end of last week. End of last week. So that's really good news. Those of you that have had a chance to look at your proposals, the ask was for $400,000 if the land grant came in, $650,000 if it didn't. So the $400,000 is really exciting news. And I think Sarah expressed some anxiety that it wasn't going to come in because being a golf course reduced its priority somehow, Sarah? Yeah, because currently there, um, you know, it doesn't exhibit the things that a, a really compelling protection project is currently targeted to do. There aren't any endangered species. There aren't as many wetlands as it, as it really are because it, they don't show up on maps. Um, but I think the state recognized that it's a real climate change adaptation opportunity. So that was good. Cool. Right. So that would be... Part of our discussion when we look at the um, the golf course proposal, I think it's called something different. Uh, there were two open houses this summer of projects that we've been a good part of. One is the Habitat for Humanity on uh, on uh, Glendale Road, and the second one's for Lumber Yard on Pleasant Street. So it's nice now to be entering into Pleasant Street and seeing such wonderful affordable housing on both sides of the road. That's that's really. Cool. Other good news, Wayne Fine is staying with us. I think that's good news. But people follow that in the news. It's like, huh? What? Really? What? Whoa. So I think it was kind of a weird turn of events. But the good news is he seems to be happy and uh, yes, yes, and is staying with us. And we will see him for a couple projects when he, when he comes in. The other good news is that Chris is running for an elected position again. So hurrah for that. Which brings us to the only bad news is that David is not uh, running, is forsaking us, is abandoning us, <laughs> is disowning us, 
how dare he? But Wednesdays don't work, I guess, quite as well as they could. Uh, it's, yeah, it's been a struggle. So, yeah, it's a struggle. But I enjoyed yeah. immensely and learned a lot from everybody. So. Likewise. And likewise, mm -hmm. and we will have you for three months. Yeah, till the end. So till the end of. So his term expires at January twentieth or something like that. Whenever they do the ceremony. Yes. Yeah. And you are not leaving public service in Northampton yet. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not uh, sure. It's on, I think it's on the next city council agenda, and then oh, we'll see okay. the committee. So uh, David's going to be on the planning board. Oh, nice! Oh, oh, to the frying pan! Cool. I, 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 this is the first time I've heard of anything. Uh, oh no! Okay. <laughs> Maybe get in touch with the mayor. Oops! <laughs> 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 oh, it's of I think that usually they they'll put it on a council agenda and it gets referred out, and someone from the committee of community services will get in touch with you. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thursdays are easier than Wednesdays. There we go. Next, no, please don't take any personal offense. So um, Chris is running for the elected position, and there's a man named Dan Krasner who is also running. So they are unopposed. Sarah's having coffee with Dan on Friday, yeah. so she'll get the scoop. We're going to mic in on that conversation, <laughs> so sort of feed her stuff in her earbud, and uh, uh, we'll hope for the best. Does anyone know anything about him or no. nothing? No, but if you think it's appropriate, you should feel free to give him my contact info. Okay. Do. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, so, um, so that's so that's the only bad news is 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 David leaving us. A couple of other things is we have no small grants this time, and that's the first in a while. Is it the first since the small grants program started? Wow. Wow. Yeah. So there you go. So usually on this first meeting, that's one of the things that we do is run through those, but that's not happening. We do, however, have seven pretty big projects before us. Everyone did receive those, correct? Hopefully you had a chance to look at them. Sarah's still entertaining questions that she can get to the applicants before we begin meeting with them two weeks from now. Oh, really? I could submit some questions tomorrow? Yes. OK. I, I intentionally waited until the meeting, so that we should uh -huh. I'm right. gonna do provide yes. another chance. Okay. Yeah, me too. Also. And I think maybe tomorrow means tomorrow. Is that right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, when we have small grants, it's critical to get them in by that date, but since we did this round, there wasn't Got it. as much Thank you. So the seven projects total one point, my calculations are, it's one point, one million one hundred one thousand one hundred thirty-four dollars Yep. So that's quite a bit. Um, and they run from 400000 to 10000 Again, none of those are, are small grants. Uh, we'll revisit that when... Uh, when we go to the financial update next. Um, our next meeting is in two weeks from today, October 16th. And Sarah suggested that we could, we could move all seven projects into that one evening. And I want to have a brief discussion, if it's all right with Sarah, on that. Uh, that the more I try to process that, the more uh, challenging that might become. Do people have thoughts about that? Trying to get them all in. I'm going to miss that meeting, so. You're, I'm sorry? I'm not going to be able to be at that meeting on the 16th. So okay. my thought is I would love to see at least half of them. Uh -huh. OK. Other people's thoughts? Uh, just reviewing these, uh, I was trying to assess whether there would be a lot of attendees. Oh, it's, but actually, it's, it's not. Just it's just a presentation. Okay, forget it. Yeah. 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 I mean, I can also watch them on you know, the, the feed. Mm, you could. I've done that. Yeah. It seems reasonable. Seems reasonable to get through all seven? So can we give them panel? Are we allowed to give them panels? Generally, we do, and sometimes that's been a struggle. But I'm not sure that's the case with any of these. Um, so seven. If we did 20 minutes each, I think that's what we usually do. So I mean, some are a little more, and some end up being. So if we want 20 minutes, what's that? Three, two, yeah, two hours, and then two and a quarter hours. Is that too much? <laughs> We've been off for a while. Fifteen minutes. Really. <laughs> Take it all in. Yeah. So yes, too much. Yes. Well, one of them's a resubmission, right? So. Which is the resubmission? The community building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I'd like to know what's changed. Sure, yeah, I'm sure so. there have been some changes that weren't real apparent in the, to me in the application. So I'm hearing some folks saying, yeah, it's okay. Some folks saying, no, we'd rather split it up. Uh, if we were to put it off until, put the second round off until the, what is it, the first Wednesday, November, right? Uh, would we, let's say if we did four, I suppose we could do five and two or four and three and then go with public comments following the presentations. Is that too much to do on that first Wednesday in, in November? Depends how many people attend and that would most likely push the recommendations back. I'd be okay trying to, sorry, I'd be okay trying to do it on all of the applications on one night if you limited it to 15 minutes because i i'm just going to say like, mm -hmm. once we hit that two hour mark and yeah okay can we do them justice in 15 minutes i that invasive control won't take how much do you know about goats i'll say unless <laughs> a goat shows up here that's right uh, i don't yeah. think wayne is planning to bring a goat that'd be great so Although that has that happened once. It would strongly <laughs> increase my support if there was a goat. Yeah. <laughs> it would get my attention. The more goats there are, the more. That, that goes for any of the applications, actually. Any more things in the goat? Where did that will get out? Is that also true when you're in planning commission? Bring a goat? So is anyone uh, not in favor? So if we kept it at 15 minutes, are people good with that and trying to power yeah. through? Yes. In two hours and 15 minutes? Yeah, provided, given that we had an opportunity to do some questioning in advance, mm -hmm. there was some stuff that I wanted to get covered. Okay. I was going to ask them for planning to bring, but I'll just do it as questions. Great. And we can mm -hmm. encourage applicants to get questions back or answers back to us? We, I will require it. Okay. Thanks. Great. So we're going to power through and get all seven in now. I suppose, Sarah, something can happen where an applicant, for whatever reason, can't make it and then we'll put them I, off. I haven't heard that anyone will be able to it. Great. Good. All right. So all seven projects, and we will, I will um, be empowered by you to try to keep it 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Great. So that's the chair's report. Uh, financial update from Sarah in front of us. We have the um, uh, stop. So maybe Sarah, you walk us through the sheet that you. Thank you for working this. Yeah. So this is the um, the start of a city council transfer order. This does not include the state match. It is so up in the air at this point. Uh, but these are all the principal and interest payments for outstanding debt obligations, as well as estimated local rent. Have you, have you given us a, a total anywhere what, at the not. end of the day what we're going to get? So if we take the 1.312 million and subtract out the, the bonding stuff and the admin, is that what you asked for? That's that's what so I've been saying. Uh, anybody done the math yet? 548,000. 548? Bonding obligations. 548, and how much for admin? Uh, I'm not Yeah, because I don't see it on the sheet that you gave us. 65,000. I'm sorry, yes. where is that? 65,000. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's got a calculator, 548 plus 65, and then take the 1.312 and subtract that. Anybody got that? It's about five. And we have 90,000 remaining from the previous fiscal year. There's got to be a little more than five. State match no, I got 764. Right. Yeah. Wait, how much was that added? So, so take 60, one, yeah, 65,000. So, so it's, we have seven, 700 plus 90, 790. So it's 1.312 million minus 548,000 minus 65,000. Plus the state match, whatever that is. Right, which we don't know, but we'll 
So, and then plus the, I'm sorry, what was last year? It was 89, I think. Yeah, 89. So, so what was 788. 788? Mm -hmm. And are we, does that include the, um, the 89 that was in there? Mm -hmm. Great. Good. Um, Chris, are you getting? No, but that's okay. And then it's going to be more because the state match. Correct. Okay. okay. And when do we think we'll know that? Is it soon? Soon, hopefully. Uh, we need it to set the tax rate. So we'll have it before so. we make final decisions. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, it usually comes in September. So yeah, what's the number we settled on? 788, 500. So remember, we have we take out a certain portion to put in reserve mm -hmm. for the open space for historic preservation for affordable housing. So that's up to that 144,000 is, and then the 815, of course, is uh, whatever we choose to do with that. Um, and that's our total allocation for two rounds in correct. fiscal year 2020. So correct. it's not just what we're looking at now; it's what we're looking at now and in the spring. Correct. Okay. But we well, don't know okay. at the state. Right. And if we get, get the supplemental, right? If we get a 30% match from the state, which seems possible, that would be about 400,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I can't, I can't budget money that I don't have. Correct. And hopefully we will have that information before we are budgeting money. And usually we attempt to guess just so that mm -hmm. the finance yeah. director can go ahead and set the tax rate, but it just didn't make sense to try and do it this year. Anything else that we need to discuss about financial stuff with Sarah? Just a couple comments that I have about the proposals. One is that um, the Rocky Hill Greenway, since the 400000 came out for the state land grant, the land acquisition component is 650000 So. Um, actually, from us for that four hundred thousand, only two hundred fifty thousand is being asked for property acquisition. So that's something to think about. And then another hundred fifty thousand is for uh, all of the works that's going to be done for enhancing the the uh, habit, habitat enhancement and all of that. All of that interesting stuff. The other thing I I think worthy to note is that historic Northampton is four different projects. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I asked the question. That Sarah's going to pass on to them is if they could prioritize mm -hmm. uh, what those what those four projects are. Remember that some of them had, had come in to us before mm -hmm. the uh, the barn remember renovation. Yeah. Uh, they had, didn't have a master plan for that, and now they do. You partially fund that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not the Thank barn. You. No, no maybe get the, uh, now we gave them two thousand dollars for endochronology. Right. Yes. Very good. Um, Yep. So the other question that I asked with North the North yeah, Commons, that wasn't the, that was something else. the North Commons affordable housing project is, and again I think we've all struggled with this is when it's a what is a twenty one million dollar project, right. something like that. Mm -hmm. um, where they get this two hundred fifty thousand, you know, it, it just seems like that's that's uh, could we get by with with less than that? Would that impact their proposal? I don't think they, they have ever come up with good answers for that because they don't have them. Um, but that's something else. They're only asking for. like 1.2 percent of the total cost mm. from us. Yeah. So it's just, just a drop in the bucket. Yeah, they don't drop in the bucket. My guess is they've seen the max that we have given any other affordable housing project has been 300,000. Mm. We gave them 50 before, if I remember correctly. Mm. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. That's and right. We add 50 to 250. Voila. Yes. Wow. Yeah, we do have another affordable housing, which is a habitat thing. Um, I'm recommending that we fund nothing other than the goats. <laughs> all of our money to the goats. Why just ten thousand? Let's just you well, know, do away with all the rest of meetings and let's just give them the one million now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's only a pilot. It's only a pilot goat. And well, I think the goats are unionized. I think there's like really something in that. Yeah, I, like I know some. I know somebody that had an operation, a landscaping operation that had goats um, across the river, and it was highly successful. Unfortunately, yes. she is out of the goat business. Uh oh. But because um, the goats. So, uh, I thought that was kind of for scale. Kicking myself. 
um, for not thinking of that last year when we were taking up the basis. Yeah. Yeah. Idea. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Except that, according to the literature that supported the grant, the willingness of the goats to eat Japanese nut nut weed is still up in the air. <laughs> so, oh, right. so, 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 so wait, we can tell everybody more about this. But if anybody walks on the, the bike path uh, by Vets Field by the Smith Physical yeah. Plant, there's a patch that now has no knot weed at all and there's other not weed all around it so that was an initial pilot pilot program <laughs> um so goats will eat not weed if there's nothing else to eat like there's right, nothing else to eat they, they wow. will eat anything else if it's there first but if there is nothing else then then they'll fly with it so i don't know do they work on an hour I mean, how do they how do they bail on that this um the, i asked wait to supply a budget the woman was no budget wanted, yeah, yeah. So the woman who was doing it Kind of wanted to know for herself how it would work, so yeah. so she volunteered the goats mm -hmm. to do this. Interesting. But that was the the only instance of that. Okay, but we don't know for this project. No. The, no. So is this like visit on this project like a visit to a goat farm? I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out. I'd like to be the goat. <laughs> the goat herder, which is how they put a Sorry. fence around the knotweed, and then someone sits there and reads a book all day. And that's that's basically how it works. You so can't let the goats fence get out. the goats into a certain area, mm -hmm. and then it was agreed upon price, and they would just do the work. Yeah. And I don't know what the what the time mm -hmm. timeline was, but that's basically how it worked. Well, we will find out. Yeah. In two weeks. Um, <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. The financial update for Sarah. No, thank you, Sarah, for sending that out. Yeah. It's, it's very incomplete. Um, yeah. I'll have more. Sense. But yeah, but the historical stuff was what I was really looking for. Mm -hmm. So that was good to get. Thank you. I, for some reason, I can't keep track of it from session to session. And we'll go back to those projects when we do the recap. Um, the Community Preservation Committee plan, uh, we need to think about updating that. Um, okay. Sarah, you want to talk? Sure. So that? Um, we have a plan that doesn't have a set number of years, but it was last redone in 2016. That was a rather minor update because we were waiting for some significant plans to be completed. So now we're going to update it, but we preservation plan. There's a new uh, affordability assessment. I, I think the Julie has a recreation commission done anything? Not updated at this point. Okay. But, but some of those plans are now complete, so it would probably make sense to put together another update. And if everyone is okay with it, I'll, I'll just review those plans and put together a draft of those sections. Oh, if you were done, with that. <laughs> if you would send out like citations for the, the new reports, that sure. would be, I would like to take a look at all okay. of those. Okay. And where are we on the most recent sustainable Northampton plan? Um, the that plan itself is is being delayed in favor of municipal vulnerability planning and some other grant funded efforts, but is coming down the road. When they say municipal vulnerability, is that? So that's a specific state program that, that's tied to some really large grants. Uh -huh. um, so the, that's a plan that has a, a set um, number of requirements and, and things to consider. Yeah. But it, it's very focused on vulnerability yeah, yeah. rather than sustainability yeah. as a whole. But that plan will help feed into sustainable sure. Northampton, which will probably start next year, maybe. So what are you okay, so we can't really wait for that. No. So you could do that initial work for us, and then we can comment on that. Sure. And that could be part of a meeting. Thank you, Sarah. I'm happy to sit down with you with that as well. Anything else on that the updated plan? Yeah, I mean, there's been some questions uh, over the past year about how we do our allocations. And it'd just be good that we are somewhat, you know, complete and updated about, you know, what the profile has been over the past five years or whatever window. I don't know exactly the right way to do it. I should address it because it's come up. Yeah, and I think that would probably be one area where committee members could review the administrative section and think about whether any changes are needed given the amount of time that we've had the CPA in effect. It would be nice for us to look at the plan again before Sarah begins work and make suggestions to her would be really helpful. Anything else about the? Do you want to? I mean, there was. I'm. I remember was shot. I guess, but did we have? 
people from the housing partnership come and talk to us? Didn't we have a yes. conversation? Yeah. They came yeah. and talked yeah. to us, right? Yeah. yeah. I guess we should. Is there a due diligence of do we want to reach out to other communities? To that? I mean, are we favoring affordable housing because they came and brought it up? Or? I mean, I raised that point at that time, which was right. as are the people we want to talk to, and it may not just be limited to city entities. We might want to invite some of our usual suspects as well. I mean, I think we ended it without putting any constraints on the committee, right? Mm. So, um, but it's just something to think about. Mm -hmm. So we could, uh, and one is we, we are in no rush to push this through in the next couple of months. We could devote a meeting early in the next session to having folks come in from different committees to speak from historic, from rec, from housing, uh, and focus a single meeting on how to update that. Would that be yeah, helpful? But I would, I would, I would again suggest that we open it beyond municipal entities and see if any of the other, any of our other subscribers want to come in and share their thoughts on the process. I'm ready. This round of applications specifically actually points exactly to like the type of prioritization that we have to do because we really have big asks from a bunch of different categories. Um, maybe I can work with Sarah in terms of looking at the schedule and seeing when, if we could squeeze that in this round or whether we want to maybe go early next round and invite folks in. Does that make sense? To schedule a meeting on that. Yes. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, great. Anything else on the plan? Okay. So um, site visit scheduling. It looks to me like a lot of these are actually would warrant site visits. Historic Northampton, certainly. Um, Hampshire Heights. I don't know if we would be looking at sort of fair ground or a or a dilapidated playground. I don't know if that's useful. Forbes is walking around the grounds. I, I don't know. Does that make sense? Uh, the, hab the habitat is all plans, right? I mean, there's a lot there. Um, I think Rocky Hill Greenway would be really interesting for folks who could want to mm -hmm. want to take mm -hmm. a walk, yeah. Yeah. Uh, walk through there. Goats, perhaps even. You know, visiting this that one place that the goats have done their thing at might be kind of fun. And I don't know, did we do a site visit last time with North Commons? Was there anything to. No, it's not. No, space. They're not starting to do that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so it seems useful to be looking at. It seems. It seems useful to be going to historic Northampton, is that correct? Mm -hmm. It seems useful to be going to the Rocky Hill Greenway. It is, is Hamp Heights, is Hampshire Heights of interest? Uh, I'm looking at you, Julia, as a sort of direct person. I haven't, I have not, I, I, you know, after reading this, I just haven't driven by to go there. Yeah. But. I mean, it's almost like a, a on our own visit and see bare ground. We need a yeah. It's sure. large, largely an open, <clears throat> largely a little bit open. Yeah. I don't think there's a lot to see. Okay, so no to that. Um, no to the habitat, Glendale Road, right? Yeah. I mean, there's not, there's the drive by and see where it's going to be. So there, there are houses on the other lots. This is the, the last remaining one. Yeah. I don't know if anybody went to the, the Grand Ole. Yeah, we went, we, Jack, you and I went out there we for a site visit. Yeah, but that was some dog park. It was for the original. Yeah, opening. right. You, you went, yeah, it's yeah. dog park. Yeah, it's yeah. but we weren't right. there to see the houses. We were just in that on that lot. Right. Oh, that is the same site then. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. I don't need to see that. And Glendale Road is now completely resurfaced and a pleasure so, drive on. Oh my so goodness! It's, it's not shocking. The, it's not the bone jarring, yeah. teeth gnashing yeah. experience it's been for the last three years. No, I'll give it a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Phil trucks forward right. out there. Uh, so where are we with um, the Habitat Glendale Road? Do we do folks want to visit that spot? No, don't think we need to. Okay, so we're we're with uh, Historic Northampton. We're with Rocky Hill Greenway. What about Forbes? Um, I met with the Forbes people about this. It, 
for the last cycle they were putting it together they did not submit it at the time this is a, this is a planning grant and yeah. and so there's not really nothing to see it's 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 money for them to bring in people to do an here. assessment of what they could do with the land they've got and they've got some thoughts about you know potential uses and how they might incorporate them so that they can utilize the land for things other than just landscaping um, mm -hmm. but they really at this point there's nothing to see it's really just a other than existing right yeah, right which we could do on our own yeah well. what they i mean they wouldn't even have the opportunity to say and here we were thinking about doing this because what they're really doing is hiring somebody to say what you might want to do here is so. people in agreeing with that don't need to mm -hmm. just walk I, around i think we've all seen the the four flyers around anyway mm -hmm. excuse me <clears throat> um goats can maybe sarah just gives us that one spot we drive by that too and take a look at the you said it was on the bike path yes so it's um it's behind the Smith physical plant, just past Bedsville. Oh, okay. It's very nice. Right here. Okay. So there, there's not weed, and then there's a hole and then where there's, there's nothing, and then there's more nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so a couple days ago. Oh, okay. Oh, just, okay, so I'm just biking. Yeah, because so, it could definitely grow back in there. <laughs> like, go quick. Overnight. Wayne can probably tell us this anyhow, but I'm just out of curiosity. How many goats over how That's much time? Yeah, yeah. I I don't know what he's what he's thinking about for the other. No, I mean those, there, those, those, were, those were two goats over a couple weeks, I think. Okay. Oh. I, I think fifteen minutes for all the proposals and an hour and a half for the goats. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be so, in for the goats. And did the goats actually stay there that whole time? Just not uh, they them away. They, they were like um, first shift goats. So they come in the morning and then they leave. Okay. So, so our someone like the goats, does, does that make us? I, yes, I believe so. Okay. I wonder if that's one of the questions too. So <laughs> okay. I might have just heard about that. Greatest of all time. Okay, so um, North Commons affordable housing. No? Pretty goat like. I think so. Uh, site visit for North Commons? No? I'm seeing no, shaking heads? No. No. Okay, so it looks like we've got two places to go. One is Historic North Camp, and the second is uh, hiking through the Rocky Hill Greenway, or at least driving, driving by and taking a look at that. Um, dates? Uh, do we want to get this? It's all, I think it's useful to have it done before we meet with the applicants so we can perhaps ask additional questions. Is that true? Well, that would mean. Two weeks. Next weekend. Yeah, if we do it on a weekend. Yeah. It's a three day weekend. It's a three day weekend. Yeah. It's a three day weekend. Uh, what, what are we looking at? Is that. Is that an hour? So, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm flexible. I mean, just 14th is a there. Monday, right? 12th is a Saturday. 12th would work. 12th would work for folks. Mm -hmm. Morning? Morning. Yeah, that would be Okay, we'll like, uh, in the same morning. like 10 at, at Historic Northampton, 11 at, uh, at the golf course. Mm -hmm. And Sarah, can you get back to us? Would yeah. that work for I'll, you? I'll sure. that okay. I would vote for earlier, but yes, people, like nine at Historic. Oh my god, <laughs> 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 are people good with nine? Yeah? yeah. Yeah. So nine at Historic North Hampton. So that's actually three three different places. Can we get through that in an hour? Uh, both houses and the, and the barn. I would suggest maybe making a golf course at 10 30, just because it's okay. a trip out there. There's a lot to see at Historic And there's a lot to see at Historic Northampton. Do folks hear that? So nine nine o'clock on Saturday, the well, and if the 12th just absolutely doesn't work for the applicants with the 19th, it'd be a good second day. Uh, I will be away at that point. Isn't that actually with the applicants? It is. Where are you going? I'm going to Washington. Uh, so, did people hear that 19th? Will the 19th work if the 12th doesn't? It will not. I it will, will not? No. All right, shaking heads head on that. Could we try? How late does it get? Uh, 640, isn't it? No, 620, I think. Yeah. Me. Although we're going to get daylight savings time in a couple of weeks. Mm. I was just wondering if, there was, if it was possible to just do something in an evening, mm. late afternoon, evening. Mm. Well, let's. First, let's, going out to the 
field so we don't, you know, tempt the mosquitoes. Uh -huh. And do it a weekday evening? Is that what you're suggesting? Yeah, we can't instead of waiting to the 19th. The 19th is close to the presentation. Yeah. Okay, so not, uh, let's see. The, so the 14th is Columbus Day, correct? Which is a holiday. Um, you think then, during the week after 6? Have to be before. Before. I can't work. Yeah. Would the 14th itself be out of bounds? 14th is a Monday holiday. That's asking people to work on that holiday. Yeah. Historic Northampton folks, but and uh, and Wayne, I suppose it's a Wayne, or is it going to be you, Sarah, who walk us? Through? Uh, it depends on the day. Is that too much to ask you to the 12th has more to do? I mean, okay. Well, I'll. Let me, let me see what I can come up with. I suspect the 12th is probably fine. Okay. Because if you're walking us through the Greenway, then it's really just getting one of the historic North Hampton folks there. As long as they don't have anything going on. And well, at 9 in the morning, morning I, it should be fine, yeah. Um, I just saw the walk for it. Um, they're not doing any, there are a couple things these, these weekend mornings, but they're not at historic yeah. North Hampton. Okay, so we'll hope for the 12th. And if not, we could look at the 14, correct? Sure. And do this and try the same yeah. schedule. Yes. Yeah. Nine and ten thirty. Great. Good. All right. So the other thing that Sarah gave us in our little handouts tonight is this green sheet with all of these projects. Mm -hmm. What I asked Sarah to do, and thank you, Sarah, so much for doing it. Um, for those of you that took a look at the sort of more extensive Excel spreadsheet that she gave us, which was all of the projects that we funded. Um, what I asked her to do, and again, thank you for doing it, is to tease out uh, projects that are still underway, that have uh, not, not been finished uh, yet. Okay. So that's what this list is, and it's a subset of that larger list of mm -hmm. all the zillion of projects that are out there. So I think it's used to know, useful um, to know what we still have in the works. Some of these, of course, we know because we bonded them and they're still going on. Is that correct, those are in there? Uh, anything that where the work hasn't yet been completed is included wow. here. If a bonded project that's is been, still being paid for but the work is done, I didn't include it. Okay, so I'm assuming that's Pulaski Park. Pul Pulaski Park, Florence Fields. And Florence Fields, and is that? And Are we still paying uh, for a lot of them? And bean farm. And bean farm. Okay. So we have so those are three projects that we're still paying for, but work has been done. Um, so it's sort of cool to see that there's a lot of other stuff still still in the works. Do folks want a moment to look at this and then ask Sarah questions? Sarah, some of these have been completed and they just haven't been invoiced. A good thing of like the Shepherd Barn, that's the dental chronology, right? They had, uh, so that with that one, the dental chronology was completed, mm -hmm. um, but the committee provided a little bit of flexibility to do some repairs, okay. which was a really small amount of money. It's $400 or something like that, but that work is being done. It was like a roof leak or something. Yeah. Yeah, it was something really good. Okay. What is the Damon Shepherd? Back in eighty nine. What's my uh, number eighty nine? Number yeah. No, so that yeah. was repairs specific to the Shepherd and David houses. Wow, well, that's, that's a big complicated. Complicated. That's a lot. And that's what they're asking. Yeah, most of it's spent. So there's uh, there's only twenty five thousand. Oh, so this remaining. is just the amount. Yeah, this was the amount. initial funding oh. it's not amount. Real, it's not so real. there's most of these are are actually much much less that's oh. remaining to be spent. And it was hard to move it. From one place to the other, but I could do that for the next meeting. So, do you know how much less the total would be? Uh, for Damon and Shepard? Probably for the whole thing. Any idea? Um, for, for each project? or Maybe you could just send us that yeah, in between meetings. Well, it is interesting to note that one, two, three, four, five of the historic Northampton projects are still in the works. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Something like that? So, it might be interesting to ask. Just ask a question of them. Yeah, uh, and they and Historic Northampton has been great about providing updated reports. So those are in the project folders if anybody wants to take a look at those. Mm. Oh, that's good. Even these small grants, these little collections of things, it's surprising. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wait, like Lake have just said they're going to do that celebrating the removal of the invasives. Yeah, I was wondering about that myself. So why is that so long? Uh, it, the Lake of Invasives was the newest um, award for that. So the previous rounds of funding are gone from the spreadsheet that were okay. done. The Forbes Library windows, we gave 100000 how, how much did the city uh, give them for that? A lot more than that. I don't have that anymore. And that work is still being done, is that correct? Yeah. They haven't invoiced us yet. Okay. And actually, the, um, the textile preservation should be pulled from this list. That, that work is complete. Any other, it's all great work that's, that's out there. What's, what is up with the fountain restoration? Hasn't that been going on for like 50 years? Is <laughs> that so my imagination? No, wasn't that like five like, or six or seven years ago? Uh, so the fountain itself is restored and is in a warehouse. Um, but, the, but the work for, on the fountain itself is complete. So now it's the design and construction of the memorial park. That's, Pending. And that seventy-five thousand goes toward that as well. It does. Any other questions about this list? Again, it's a good work of the reminder that a uh, good reminder of the good work that this committee does in funding such different and interesting things. Um, all right, let's see. Other business not foreseen when agenda was published? I have one thing I'd like to bring up. Um, this came up maybe a few years ago, and I can't even remember the name of the project anymore, but it was a trail, maybe it's in gazebo or something, and there was some part of it that was going to be the gazebo was labor donated by the correctional uh, by the jail, basically. And I think we talked about it briefly at that time, but I think maybe, we're, maybe it should be incorporated in the plan. Uh, my personal opinion would be to say that we should never be funding projects that are using, you know, what some could, you know, call slave labor or so on. Um, I, I, it's jogged my memory because I was trying to figure out if it was one of these projects here. Um, but anyway, I don't remember which one it was. Um, Does that ring a bell, sir? And maybe a few of them, actually. Yeah, I think I think it was not the first time when it came before us when I was here. It had happened a few times, and uh, yeah, so this would be uh, stuck in my craw. So let's make a note of that to put that as a suggestion when we revamp the uh, the Community Preservation Committee plan. And it's come up with something that was in the paper. Right, very pretty it's recently. Like, but the yeah. 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 No, thank you for bringing that up. Any other business? Okay, so we will see folks on the, what did we say, the 12th? And questions, remember, tomorrow yeah. uh, to Sarah for applicants. And we'll prepare ourselves for a informative meeting uh, two weeks from today. Um, any other business? A motion to adjourn. A second. Second. All in favor. Um.